do. Good morning, everybody. I'm Ed Parco here with Mike Kelly, and we are Real Estate Jerky Daily. And one of the things we are starting to do in the beginning, because we were told to do this, and you should do the same thing too, tell people what you do. I do mortgage loans, uh, and I basically focus on veterans loans. I do reverse mortgages and other stuff, but and business owners, but I really, my my, I can do a VA loan in nine days. So that's my, that's my specialty. I can do a probate in one year. I have a special. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, you about, don't, you that's don't about have control. That, yeah, that's about as long as they take from start to finish. Um, I do specialize in probate and in trust. Um, probates can take up to a year. However, you can, at a certain point in your probate, sell the probate property um, and then once they know what finish, the value is, right? Yeah, yeah, finish it out. Once we have a, a probate referee and we have a value, you can sell within 90% of that. But in this market, it'll sell 110% of that. And um, you can close escrow. You won't get any funds until the end of the probate, but uh, we, we can close the escrow and finish the project. And if you want to do it right, you do it through a trust first, and then you don't have to go to probate and you can sell right away. You still handle that. But right. It right. just makes it so much easier for you and, and you don't have to have the court charge you money. And when you sell through a trust, when escrow closes, the trust has the, the funds and you can divvy it up the way the will or the trust says. And if you're going to set up a trust these days, put in there a clause that says is anybody who you know wants to fight it, they get kicked out of the trust. There you go. <laughs> I wonder if that would be legal. Uh, I've heard some people doing it. Oh, well, that's that's. Then let's do it. Yep. Why not? If you, yeah. All right. So today information was, we have initial job with claims, new home sales. And then tomorrow we have durable good orders on Friday, which we're not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. We're Mike. not, we're not going to be here tomorrow and we won't be here Friday either. Yeah, Monday. Nice try. That's <laughs> what I said. Sorry. It's right after road. I'm yeah. a little tired. All right. New home sales. It measures uh new home sales which <laughs> sign contracts so these are signed contracts which is it should be closed They're not, it deals. should be closed because it's, just, it's it would be like you guys writing offers uh new uh, existing home sales of every contract that was written that would be ridiculous numbers exactly. and when let's talk about closed home sales. and to think if i got paid per contract oh my gosh anyway they signed contracts on new home decreased 4.7 percent in april to 634,000 at annualized pace wow we talked about this a while back that they actually had to drop value i mean the, the sales prices and everything to get people come in and buy because of where rates are march figure was revised also march figure was revised lower to 665,000 from a previous of 693 units okay so this that's what i'm talking about so it's signed contracts that means they back out they counted it then they have to revise it why don't they just wait till the closings yeah, you know? I mean, you close usually within sixty days. Sometimes on new construction, sometimes. sometimes six months, sometimes right away if they have one that fell out. If it's standing inventory, you can close within probably twenty-one days. Although, yeah. if you're forced to use their lender, it may take longer. Oh yeah, and if you can go outside of their lender, yeah. just at least get it looked at by somebody else because sometimes they go, "We give you this money towards this, but then you pay for it." Nothing's free in this world. Right. The inventory of new homes on the market decreased by 2.1 percent to 480 thousand. While median new home prices decreased 1.4 percent to 433 thousand five hundred. So they were probably 434 thousand five hundred. Yeah. Wow. All right. So the initial jobless claims is what we've been waiting on and, and continuing claims to see where the market's going because the Fed says unemployment's going to tell us what we're going to do going forward. Well, initial jobless claims measures individual filings for unemployment for the very first time. 215,000 claims for last week, which represents a decrease of 8,000 oh. from the previous week. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's not good. No, you're probably going, you know, I'm just going to go play this week. Yes. <laughs> Or they, yeah. or they, you know, or they just quit and they're like, oh, I'll file next week. Yeah, exactly. I got a severance. Continuing claims increased to 1.794 million from the previous, previous week of 1.768. 786. Thank you. And that's just <laughs> telling you that once you're on unemployment, you don't get off. You right. stay on longer. And that's what's happening. I saw, you know, memes and everything, all these stores that are closing. And so it's coming. I mean, there's so many stores that are closing that you're, you're going to be shocked when they're not there anymore. Well, just think about all the red lobsters that are that are just closing, including the one big one in Sacramento. What, the one here closing too? No, it's, so far it's still open. Um, I would imagine it might go. Maybe they're managing it better, but they were losing 
ridiculous amounts of money uh, per week in sales. And then they blamed the endless shrimp bowls. Like, people well, are eating too much. It. These people they're, are eating way too much. Yeah. Well, they probably bring Ziploc bags. Well, they probably do. Yeah. And, you know, in high school, myself and two of my buddies, we figured out that at Long John Silver's, all you can eat fish, you had to go back four times for it to really kind of break even. <laughs> <laughs> it was math. We were all math and magicians. Yeah, it then. sounds like it. You have a hair on there? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it has like, to, it's like, is it your hair? Because there's not anybody else who really sits hair. there. Yeah, yeah. It, well, probably is. Oh, well, it's not my wife because she doesn't come in here and get on the mics. But uh, I'm talking these mics. Yes, I know. Yeah, are. not this mic. Yeah. She likes me a lot, but not that not much. Not that much. Yeah. Because I am a funny guy. So, well, it's so funny that Craig Arona is like, with what you said, we aren't going to bring up what you said. And that's like, he's like, and I've only done that to him twice uh, this year because he's funny because he's, you know, he had to be so straight laced this year because he's the president of the Boys and Girls Club. Right. And then I can say whatever I want because he's going to fire me. Yeah. Um, and well, then you're like, next. Me. Yeah. You're, you're like, you're even worse than what I said. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I mean, it's true. It's one of the questionnaires on when you give blood. I know. You know, on. have you had sex with one, a man, even once? For love or money. I always answer love no. <laughs> I always answer no. Hey, Chris Murphy did a great job today talking yes. about the American Graffiti Museum that is under construction and really making uh, progress by leaps and bounds. And yep. they need an additional, how much? Three million? Three million, according to the paper. Uh, he said they need eight million total and they had four point something already, but there was a big push for another three million. But the, that's what the paper said. But according to what he said, it's like another four million. Yeah. Uh, maybe, well, that's probably more true. Yeah. And remember, we got graffiti coming up in a week. Can you believe that? In yeah. the next week. June 7th. It's June, June 5th 8th. through 8th, yeah. right? Yeah. Because you got, you've got, what is on the 5th? I don't know. You're bringing it up. I know, but it's like a breakfast. Or I'm going to get it. I don't have I my post. It. My posters are in the car. Yeah, mine are too, in the car too. Um, the yeah. one cool thing is, you know, the, the cruise, of course, is free. Um, and if we're raising funds for the graffiti museum, make sure to buy tickets and go over and look at the cars. I believe they're at West campus again, correct? Yes. Okay. So buy tickets and, and go, or don't buy tickets or buy tickets and don't go. It doesn't really matter. They just need the, the proceeds so, it, so they can finish this place. So of course, and this is the 25th year. Can you believe that? No. So the show is June 8th and 9th at Modesto junior college, West campus on blue glum Avenue. Blue glum. Yeah. June 7th starts the parade at six thirty. Thousands of classic cars on McHenry. And, uh, if I'm here, I'll be out there helping. Yeah. I think I'm going to be here. Um, last year I wasn't, so I couldn't. I will. I think I'll be here. I don't think I'm going anywhere. Um, so I'll be on one of the corners with my arms out. Yeah, you're going to be on one of the corners, yeah. but are you going to participate in this? No, I'm just going to be on one of the corners. <laughs> oh, look, there's Mike again. Again. Mike. Oh. Again, on the corner. <laughs> He's trying to work. I'll, I'll sell a home. I sell a home for, for a, a classic burger. car. For a burger. a burger from Burgie, Burgie's. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how far they've come with this graffiti and, uh, you know, the fact that, you know, you can cruise now because of uh, it's legal again. Yep. Because, yep. And well, in that, you that know, club, cruising, because you know how they did it, right? Yeah. It was racist. Right. Well, they used, they used, they played that card. That was a great card to play because they, other than that, they would never have changed it. Yeah. It was just a bunch of white folk. They'd say, no, you guys are dumb and we're not doing it. Um, did I tell you I got pulled over one time on McHenry for cruising? That wasn't really cruising. You just forgot where you were going. <laughs> no, uh, so um, I so I had a '69 Mustang okay. at the time, and I got we were having trouble with LinkedIn. Okay, thanks for telling me. Uh, and I, you know, Rick, hmm. my stepdad borrowed it for, and he used to umpire games. And somebody threw a ball, you know, hit a ball, and it broke the driver's side mirror. Okay, I still had the one inside and the one on the right. Right. They pulled me over because I didn't have the driver's side mirror because I just got broken. And so they pulled me over. And then, the, and this is when cops were really, you know, wet on McHenry. Uh, not nice. Let's just leave it that. Yeah. And they opened they the gross. back and they're like, there was rags in there because I detailed my car and it's like, grab the rags. I smell it. <laughs> I'm like, really? It smells like wax. Well, they're trying to find out if I have alcohol or something, you know, give me yeah. a break. Or if you did, you know, uh, it's like, go home now or when we pull you over next time, we're going to impound your car. Oh, geez. Crib, give me a break. I'm going home anyway. No, I was going to the movies with my girlfriend. Oh. oh. <laughs> Our first did, date. Did you say, can I go to the movies with my girlfriend? No, I, I went to the movies with my girlfriend. Yeah. 
Jeez. Yeah. I mean, and I, I never, I, I never understood the cruising of McHenry anyway. I much rather Turlock. So, you know, I loved cruising McHenry when I was in my teens. Um, but I did it differently. I, I didn't have a lot of money, even though I worked, um, to waste on gas. So I would park and my other two buddies would park at uh, continental leasing, which became bookies, which then is, I think it's a. Bookies. My, that's on. No, the, the bookies was the first one. Where was that? Was on McHenry. That was on McHenry, oh. right across the street from Lions, um, which is the doctor's hospital annex now. And uh, we would just park, open up our doors, play some music, stand there. We actually talked with the owner of Continental Leasing, and he says, "You, I, I know you guys are here, um, but I have far less damage on my cars since you're here. <laughs> so please feel free to hang out. You know, right. and we had a great time." People would park around the corner and come over and talk to us. It was almost like holding court. It was a lot of fun. You know, and I and it so, didn't cost much. <laughs> yeah, I was so poor back then because I was, you know, dirt road dirt poor. Dirt road poor, yeah. yeah. I had a, after my 69 Mustang, I got a, I actually traded it to Rick and got a mini truck, right? He, oh, yeah. He had a Ford Courier mini truck, and I, I freaking, de- I mean, changed the look of that thing. Did you lower it? Oh, everything. Yeah. Yeah, and um, had it. I mean, I did everything to it because I was an auto body and an auto mechanics and um, and then um, I traded that for a 63 Chevy pickup years later, like almost 15 years later, mm-hmm. I'm in LA doing something and I see my mini truck. Are you serious? Yes. Driving down the road. <laughs> that, that had to be a cool experience. And Did you stop and talk to the guy? No, I couldn't catch him. And oh. The only reason I knew it was my mini truck is because before I sold it, I had a weight set in the back and when I took off, it came in and hit the back tailgate and cracked it because oh. I put so much Bondo on there to, to get rid of the to letters. put in the actual license plate in. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, and, yeah. I, and I was so poor. I couldn't get a piece of metal to cut, to weld into there. So I had to use the torch and, and knock all the letters down. And, uh, and he still painted it. Oh, that with that, that way. With the crack? Of, yeah. Without <laughs> fixing that crack. That's how I knew it was my old mini truck. That so, is so cool. But I really liked my 63 Chevy pickup. It was a long bed. I dropped it and put sand rail, um, discs on it. It was pretty cool. Oh, that had to look cool. I probably yeah. saw it. It, it was, was a, here in Modesto. No, it was in Turlock oh, because I where I lived. Yeah. And then when I went in the Navy, it was at my, that their house, my Rick and my mom's house and, uh, that they were renting and it sat there and I went in the Navy and next thing I know, they go, we sold your truck. Oh, great. It, w- w- what part of my truck? Yeah, exactly. It's confusing. And where's my money? Yeah. Oh, we, we, we bought some uh, furniture. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I had a buddy. Thank that, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You remember the old Chevy love? Mm-hmm. He dropped a 327 in the Chevy Love. Wow. The thing would do, get wheelies. And then another buddy, a 70 Datsun. It, it wasn't a B210. B2, it wasn't a B210. It was, it might have been a B210, but maybe it was, yeah, it was a 70. He dropped a 440 Mopar in there, uh, mid engine. You had this much space to put both your feet <laughs> on the side because of the new cowling right. that he fabricated himself. Oh my God. A great stereo in it, but you couldn't hear it because the engine was so loud. <laughs> you had to wear headphones. Yeah. You'd only hear it when it was stopped. Yeah. All right. Well, the thanks for reminiscing about our graffiti days. Yeah. And remember, you know, they need to meet, raise 3 million. So whatever well, you can do. Well, really for the, the, the graffiti, the, sh- the Friday night, they need people on the corners to help out. So please yeah. reach out to them if you have the time. I'm pretty sure I'll be standing. I got to double check one thing. <laughs> All right. Everybody make it a great day. Again, we're not here tomorrow or tomorrow or, or Friday or Monday. Monday is Memorial day. <laughs> right. And today is not, but tomorrow is just something came up. I'm actually going to go see my son. He's coming down at the close. So we're going to go have brunch with him. And that's why I can't. What there. was Memorial day first called and in what war uh, created it? All right. You want to do it right here. We yeah, go. Here. You do it. I'm going to, uh, you guys can tell us, and put the stuff in there and later we'll talk about it. All right. So Memorial day was initially established to honor with the fallen from which war one American revolution two civil war three world war one or four world war two, put the answer below in the comments and I'll let you know later today if you're correct. Yeah. All right. Everybody make it a great day. And thanks for being here, Mike. Peace out. Thanks for having me, Ed. All right. Bye. Bye.